Wondering what's on the horizon for content creators in 2024? Today, we're diving into the anticipated NVIDIA RTX 5000 series and exploring how it might elevate your filmmaking game. We'll delve into rumored specs, potential features, and compare it to current favorites like the Sony FX3. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, this guide aims to keep you ahead of the curve in graphics technology. Oh, and hey, if you're excited to stay ahead of the curve too, don't forget to hit that like button. It's like giving your future self a high five. Let's begin by exploring what the NVIDIA RTX 5000 series is expected to bring to the table. While official details are scarce, industry insiders suggest that NVIDIA's upcoming RTX 5000 series, codenamed Blackwell, will introduce significant advancements in GPU technology. These GPUs are rumored to feature a new architecture designed to enhance performance and efficiency, potentially utilizing a 3 nanometers process for greater transistor density and improved power consumption. Think this is cool? Smash that subscribe button and join the ride for more tech insights. One of the standout features anticipated in the RTX 5000 series is the integration of GDDR7 memory. This next-generation memory is expected to offer higher data transfer rates compared to GDDR6, resulting in faster rendering times and smoother performance in graphics-intensive tasks. For content creators, this means more efficient workflows and the ability to handle complex projects with greater ease. Don't leave this journey unfinished. Click that like button and show the algorithm who's boss. Another exciting development is the expected increase in CUDA cores. The RTX 5090, for instance, is rumored to feature nearly 25,000 CUDA cores, a significant leap from its predecessors. This increase could translate to a 33% performance boost over the RTX 4000 series, offering more power for tasks like video editing, 3D rendering, and real-time effects processing. Loving this dive into cutting-edge tech? Subscribe and join the squad of curious creators unlocking the future. Now, let's delve deeper into these features and consider their real-world applications. The introduction of GDDR7 memory is particularly noteworthy. With higher data transfer rates, content creators can expect faster load times and more responsive editing experiences. This is especially beneficial when working with high-resolution footage or complex 3D models, where data throughput can be a bottleneck. If this is making your workflow dreams come true, Let's keep that momentum going. Give this video a thumbs up. The substantial increase in CUDA cores also holds promise. More cores mean more parallel processing power, which is crucial for rendering and encoding tasks. For instance, when applying effects or color grading in post-production, the additional cores can significantly reduce processing times, allowing for a more efficient workflow. Hey, if faster rendering excites you as much as it excites us, Subscribing now ensures you never miss updates like this. However, it's important to consider the potential power requirements of these new GPUs. Reports suggest that the RTX 5090 may have a total graphics power TGP, of up to 600 watts, a notable increase from the RTX 4090's 450 watts. This means that upgrading to the RTX 5000 series might necessitate a more robust power supply and enhance cooling solutions to manage the increased thermal output. Got questions about power and cooling? Drop them in the comments and don't forget to give this video a like for more deep dives like this. Now, let's discuss some pros and cons to provide a balanced perspective. On the positive side, the anticipated performance gains from the RTX 5000 series are substantial. Faster memory and more CUDA cores can lead to more efficient workflows and the ability to handle more demanding projects. Additionally, the potential support for advanced AI features could open new creative possibilities for content creators. Loving this balanced look at tech? Give us a like and subscribe. You deserve a front row seat to innovation. However, there are considerations to keep in mind. The increased power requirements may lead to higher energy consumption and the need for upgraded hardware components, such as power supplies and cooling systems. Moreover, the expected price point for these high-end GPUs could be a significant investment, with some estimates suggesting that the RTX 5090 may cost between $2,000 and $2,500. Hey, budgets are serious business. Don't worry, we got your back with more insights. 
subscribe and stay informed. So, how does the anticipated RTX 5000 series compare to existing options like the Sony FX3? It's important to note that the RTX 5000 series is a line of GPUs designed for computing tasks, while the Sony FX3 is a full-frame cinema camera tailored for filmmaking. The FX3 offers features like a 12.1 MP full-frame sensor, 4K recording capabilities, and a compact, lightweight design, making it a popular choice among filmmakers. Enjoying this apples to oranges comparison? Tap that like button. It's like giving this video a virtual hug. In contrast, the RTX 5000 series GPUs are components that can be integrated into a computer system to enhance processing power for tasks like video editing, rendering, and running complex software applications. For content creators who rely on computer-based workflows, upgrading to a more powerful GPU like those in the RTX 5000 series could significantly improve performance and efficiency. Don't you love when tech makes life easier? Subscribe for more updates and life hacks like this. So, who would benefit most from the NVIDIA RTX 5000 series? If you're a content creator who engages in tasks that require substantial computational power, such as 3D rendering, high-resolution video editing, or real-time effects processing, the performance enhancements offered by the RTX 5000 series could be highly advantageous. However, it's essential to consider the potential need for hardware upgrades to accommodate the increased power requirements.